Ooh, it's like kind of artsy. <laughs> so let's see what our view is. So we are seeing, look, we're looking right out of the water. Wow. Whoa. I feel dizzy. <laughs> that is sweet. What do you think? <laughs> we love a good view, right? Way over there is Old Town, and over there is DC. There's obviously a little restaurant or something down there. Can't wait to go explore. Do I dare extend my camera out over the edge? Up. I know, don't look down. I don't look the whole way down. I feel like I'm moving. This is awesome. This is why I want to go climb towers. The higher the better. It is 1.57 on a Friday, so we have the rest of the weekend to do whatever we want. Oh, it's so fun. Um, this view out here is crazy. I'll show you the whole room and everything in just a second. So this is gonna be our baby moon video for our third kid. We just went to get away for a little bit. Josh's mom is watching our two kids. Uh, we have a four-year-old and two-year-old back at home. And so we were trying to decide for a long time what we wanted to do. At first we were thinking, let's do like a secluded cabin in the woods, like up towards like Erie PA or something like that. We didn't wanna drive too far, but then Josh is like, wait, you're gonna have to do all the cooking. That's not vacation. And like for us, like the food is like half the experience. Like we wanna go out to eat, especially if there's no kids along to pay for. Our kids love going out to eat, but um, you know how it is. It's just so much more fun as adults, right? So we decided to look for a city and we love Lancaster City, which is really close to us. So I was looking for something like kind of that size or like with some history, some cuteness character to it. And I've been to Alexandria, Virginia one time before and we didn't get to spend too much time there and I was like, I would definitely go back. It's close to DC. If we run out of things to do, we can go over there, do some biking, lots of outdoor living. It's beautiful this weekend. Like the weather looks perfection, really. Anyway, so I'm excited. I think we're gonna be pretty active. I am 35 weeks pregnant, so I don't know how that's gonna go, but I feel great and I've been being active, so I'm sure it'll be fine. So I don't know, maybe we'll do some golfing. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. So here's a quick overview of our room. It's, yeah, nice and sterile and clean, which is what we wanted. Here is the bed with some wallpaper behind it. It's kind of like a 1920s feel here with the furniture and the light fixtures. Oh, it's so cute, I like it. Here's a little office area if I wanted to edit. I did not bring my editing with me. I'm going to relax to the fullest. And then this is the best part of our room. It's the atrium view at the Gaylord. And way over here is the city skyline. What do you think, Josh? <laughs> Pretty sweet. And then this is the atrium down here. It's all that marble flooring. Oh my word, I feel dizzy just looking. And I decided since I'm not gonna make it like a dedicated uh, fashion maternity video at the end of you know my pregnancy here, I thought I would do it kind of with this video, kind of what we did and wore on vacation. Um, just to give you guys some ideas if you're in this stage a lot of people get to this stage But not a lot of people are there at the same time. You know what I mean like 35 weeks pregnant So yeah, I'll just show you some of the things that I packed as we go throughout the weekend So when we left this morning in Pennsylvania, it was like 45 degrees and super crisp out And so I wore a cardigan which I I always wear a cardigan when we travel because me and Josh can never agree on the temperature of the vehicle um, so I have that one and then this just like easy um, swing dress that I got off of, I think it was the Main Street Exchange. Um, very, very comfortable, but it is a little short for my taste. So I did wear leggings, and these leggings are like the perfect, they're so comfortable. They're from Amazon Satina is the brand. I can link them below, but I have a couple pairs of them. And then I'm just wearing wedge sneakers that I think I got off of Jane.com. I love like the perforation in them, um, but they're gray. I don't wear a lot of gray. I wish I would have got them in taupe, but they're comfortable and also kind of cute at the same time. But I am way too hot. I'm gonna change because it's like almost 80 degrees out there right now. Um, although we are biking, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just wear my cardigan and tie it around my waist um, because I'm probably gonna need to wear leggings if I'm biking anyway, just for <laughs> modesty's sake. We'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna go see what Josh has figured out for us to do and we're just gonna go make the most of the rest of our Friday here. It's gonna be so fun to reconnect again and not have the kids. <laughs> I, I love my kids, I miss my kids, but you know how it is. It's nice to get away once in a while.
more. No. I think the rash will be look at you. <laughs> hey. That's baby. Oh my goodness, it was so fun. We biked all around town this afternoon and I'm just getting ready now because we are going out for supper to a fancy place along the water. Um, and I was just getting ready here. I wanted to show you this. <laughs> I'm not a huge perfume wear, but I love to pick these up at the little checkout area at Old Navy because they're so small. You can just throw them in a bag somewhere. They're not that expensive. They're not super strong. And I just like missed them on my clothes or whatever. And yeah, so don't sleep on that. Check out Old Navy for their perfume. This one is the Orange Blossom and Tea. I've had a teak wood and something that I really like, really like from them, but I mean, they don't last forever or anything and they're not super strong, but I kind of like it like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna get ready and get out of here. I'm so hungry. I think I'm gonna get seafood because tomorrow night I think we're gonna go somewhere and get wings. <laughs> Our vacation is like centered around the food. <laughs> but hey, I feel like we earned it. We were biking a whole bunch. We went up on this like bridge and had the, it had this awesome lookout and stuff and we biked around town a little bit and yeah, just got some things, but anyway. Off to a night on the town, and I'm thinking, if it's not ridiculous, to go on a Ferris wheel all dressed up. I think we're going to do that this evening, too. Um, we really don't have to, because I think every night is going to be beautiful while we're here, but I want to get all the fun stuff done in case we want to do it, you know, again tomorrow night. We always could. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing tonight. It probably looks a little bit familiar. I have it in a rust color, and also I got it in green, and it was just so flattering and so comfortable, and obviously very um like loose and flowy that i can wear it after the baby and i don't have to be pregnant for it to look cute um i think it'll look really good afterwards too and i love the back detail josh tied me up but i can't tell you if it looks good or not but <laughs> i love the bow t detail in the back there so yeah it's just long and flowy and i have on my my favorite sandals i've worn for the last like four years they're just comfortable and still a little bit high heel at the same time kind of a compromise. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I think we're ready to go. Quiet at least. <laughs> nope. 
Do you ever wonder what your husband's gonna be like when you're old? I don't ever wonder because I get it now already. <laughs> Josh in the morning, he's so chipper. He gets it from his dad. His dad would always like sing in the morning and wake him up. And I'm just like, leave me alone in my own bubble. But anyway. Actually, no, my dad is not a morning person. He isn't? Yeah. But he always would sing to you guys and make you wake up and be so Yeah, after he's been awake for a couple of hours. Oh. My mom's the one that bounces out of bed and is ready to roll. Oh. Dad is, it takes him an hour to wake up. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, last night was so fun. We went to, what was it called? McCormick? We, McCormick and Schmitz or something? I don't we know. went to like this steakhouse, McCormick and Schmitz, I think, along the water. That's why we picked it, because it was like right along the water. And then after that, we just like walked around and took some pictures and rode on the Ferris wheel. It was beautiful and really good, um, like nice scenery. Um, and then we got cheesecake and took it back to our room and we tried to watch a movie which totally failed. There's just like nothing out there to watch. We were looking up stuff on Netflix. I think we watched one for like 20 minutes and we're like, yeah, we're done with this. <laughs> oh, that's it's so rough. Anyway, we, I, we wanted to do a movie night with our cheesecake and I was like, oh, that'd be fun, but that didn't really pan out, but that's fine. We were up this morning at like 6.45. I'm not kidding. Yes, I know, but we went to bed at 10.30 and I mean, there's not, let's, let's get up and go, right? Here is our view. It is just beyond gorgeous. The sun came up and everything was all pink this morning. Look at that, wow. Still feel woozy looking down there. <laughs> but I am dressed for the day. I am just wearing a black basic shirt and then this skirt that I got from Inherit Clothing Company. And I'm wearing my cute fashion sneakers. We'll see if I actually keep them um, on all day. I'm gonna take my other ones along in the truck. These I got from ThreadUp. I really like them. They are really comfortable, but they don't have my like shoe insert orthotic in them. So we'll see how long I last in these. The reason I picked this outfit is because it is cute, but it also like I can bike in it. I can like just be comfortable in it all day. And I did do a hair tie just for fun. Got these off of Amazon a while back. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. And I made Josh wear a pink shirt. <laughs> do you guys do the same thing? Try to coordinate if you can. I don't worry about it most of the time, but once in a while I'm like, Let's look cute together. So he's wearing his pink shirt, I'm wearing my pink skirt, and we're gonna go explore Alexandria. Also, I got this water bottle off of Amazon because it's so cute and it seals so you can like throw it in your backpack, but it has no insulation, which I love icy cold water. <laughs> um, so that's like been the bane of my trip. Having cold water all the time is kind of challenging. I originally bought this for like church, so I don't worry about the kids kicking it over in church. Um, yeah, and they have it in a ton of colors. I just love this green and gold. And here's a little hack I do if you're a water snob like me and you're never sure if hotel water is going to be awful or not is pack lemons. These don't look super healthy. <laughs> but if you pack lemons and you can always squeeze lemon like juice into your water, it makes it a thousand times better. But yeah, then you also have to pack a knife or else slice it ahead of time. So don't forget that. Look at that. Find a husband who will tie your shoes for you even when you're not that huge. <laughs> so I was looking it up and this blue house right here is the narrowest house in America. <laughs> the Spite House. I'm pretty much wider than it. <laughs> I look wider than that.
oh my goodness. So we came back, took showers, took a nap. I just woke up all sweated and so thirsty. So um, I filled up a bottle of water. I'm about this far into it now. I'm just trying to chug a bunch of water because I know I'm probably dehydrated, which is not good. It's something I try to avoid like crazy, especially in pregnancy. Um, yeah, so drink your water if you're sitting there watching right now. <laughs> I did get my hair combed, and now I think Josh ran out to the truck to grab some stuff. I think we're going to go sit by the water and do a little marriage talk thing. I will show you the book we're using. Um, then just have like a little date by the water, watch the sunset. It is 5.49 now, and sunset's at 6.45-ish, so we have about an hour till then. And then once the sun sets, we are going to go over to MGM. It is like this huge hotel, casino, resort area. It's like right up here on the hill. It looks really big. I don't know. There's like food there to eat and like, I don't know. We're not, we don't gamble, so we're not doing that. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll just like walk around a little bit and stuff and maybe do some shopping over at the outlet. I don't know how you guys are about vacations, but I like to just make a list of all kinds of ideas of an area that we're going and then just kind of pull off of them, whatever we're in the mood for, what we're hungry for or find new things. Um, we've spent a lot of time like Googling different things in the area, different things to do while we're here. And that doesn't bother me at all. Like I like that. I like to do what I'm in the mood for and not like what's on the itinerary. I don't know what you guys are like, but anyway, let me finish getting ready and then I will show you my outfit and my, our marriage book. Okay, real life, I spilled water all over me because basically I'm a child. Um, but this is my outfit tonight. Absolutely zero makeup because I left it out in the truck and Josh ran to get it and he left his keys in the room. So I'm not gonna make him run back again. I'm just going like this, it's fine. I just feel a little bit less dressy. <laughs> it's okay. My dress I got from the Main Street Exchange I think maybe a year ago um, and it is very loose and flowy. And then I just had this denim jacket from Target. I love, love, love light wash. I don't know, I go through phases. Right now it's light wash, I love light wash. And it's like at least almost two years old I think. And then just some tan fall boots that are from Kohl's and they are like probably a good five or six years old. Got them at Kohl's on a Black Friday sale in Missouri of all places. I think we're gonna try to take a couple pictures tonight. We didn't get a single picture of us two together. So we'll see if that happens, but I'm looking very fallish. Um, it will get breezy a little bit later on, but for now I'll probably end up taking the jacket off because yeah, it's like 70 degrees out there and very comfortable plus dress has like nice length sleeves so and then this is the book i was talking about it's called the art of marriage it's a whole seminar by family life today and we um did this in like a group study at a local church you guys can actually like get these books and do them with a group or like start it at your own church it's just nice to have something to guide kind of a serious discussion because sometimes especially if you're like me and josh it's not like you have business discussions and life discussions and stuff but not always like serious hard-hitting things that you know you need to talk about so i think i'll pack this along in my little backpack and we'll maybe look through it down at the harbor <laughs> parking than we did actually in there. <laughs> Definitely not our jam. Um, there wasn't really much to do. Um, I mean, I guess if you're into gambling, but we're not. <laughs> we're just gonna enjoy this beautiful rooftop view and kind of research what we wanna do for supper. It's like eight o'clock and we're still not even hungry yet. But yeah, I don't regret coming just because this view up here is so cool, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's not really our thing, I don't believe. <laughs>
Is that landing in the net? Yeah. yeah. I don't think I even talked to you guys yet today. Um, we just got out of Top Golf. Um, yeah, we just did a bunch of driving. It is hot out there. So Josh is changing his shirt. Um, I forgot to even show you my outfit today, but it's like my favorite maternity outfit of all time. I will link both pieces down below. <laughs> I wear them all the time. Um, but yeah, now I think we're gonna go over to Krispy Kreme, which is across the river in Alexandria. Uh, we don't have any Krispy Kremes at home and their donuts are so good. And we thought it'd be nice to bring something back for Josh's parents, you know, since they're doing all the babysitting. Um, plus, a donut sounds pretty good right now, doesn't it? Okay, we just arrived at the parking lot, and I'm putting this in this video for my future self and for you guys too. This might actually really help you. Type in Gravelly Point if you want to find free parking that's close to like the Potomac Tidal Basin and like all the pretty biking like around close to the mall, like DC and area, or you could go the other way and go out of the out of the DC area. The trail is really pretty. Um, but yeah, no need to pay to park. These clips totally cracked me up. <laughs> we had no intentions of biking the National Mall, but we parked at Gravelly Point, which is a great place to park for free, and just started riding the trail. And the city just kind of lured us in, and we We've done the National Mall many, many times before. I've done it in the spring on bikes. I've done it on foot with a stroller, with a baby in a wrap. Uh, we did it one time in the fall on scooters. That was super fun as well. So definitely it's something you gotta do if you ever are in the DC area. It was the most beautiful day you could imagine. And I'm just so glad we took the time to be spontaneous and just to go where the wind took us. This was such a refreshing trip all around and I'm so glad we took the time to do it before baby number three is here. And I do not get political on this channel, but I wanted to end with this quote that I found on the Jefferson Memorial. It said, I have sworn upon the altar of God, eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Guys, we have been given brains. We need to use them. We need to use our mind. And another verse that came to my memory was, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So take that with you today. Use your sound mind, stay in the word, and I'll see you all in next week's video. Bye everyone.